Curious George Snow Day, adapted by Rhoda Moscovich, based on the TV series Tell Play, written by Lazar Sarek. George woke up to a wonderful surprise. It had snowed all night. George was curious about all that clean, white snow. Maybe he could build something out of it. You go outside, George, said the man with the yellow hat. I'll go make us some cocoa for later. That was going to be a perfect day. George went out to play. Uh-oh, he sank right into the fluffy powder. Bill, George's friend and neighbor, came by. He did not have any trouble walking on the snow. Hey, George, Bill said. I have an extra pair of cross-country skis you can have. Then Bill showed George how to ski by making zigzags throughout the snow. George could not wait to try it for himself. With skis, George could stay on top of the snow, and he followed Bill uphill. Suddenly, they heard a noise. Oink, 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 oink. Bill said, I'm going to find out what that was. You wait here. George waited on top of the hill. It was cold. His house looked so small and warm. George wanted to get home for his cocoa. Was Bill coming back? Hey, George, Bill shouted from the bottom of the hill. I couldn't find whatever made that sound, but I have to head home now. Keep the skis and have fun. So George did, for a while. When George was tired, he skied down the hillside towards home, until he hit a rock. His skis flew off, and George tumbled the rest of the way down. George picked himself up at the bottom of the hill. What would he do now? He spotted two children pulling a sled. They were walking on the snow. But they didn't have skis. How did they do it? It had to be those wide, flat shoes they wore. Vinny, I think he likes our snowshoes, the girl said. George nodded. Vicky and I live on the other side of the hill, said Vinny. If you come home with us, we'll lend you our snowshoes so you can get home too. Climb aboard the sled. It was fun to sail down another hill, but now George was even farther from his house. Here you go, monkey, Vicky said. She gave George her snowshoes and climbed on the sled. Bye, monkey. Good luck. George began his long journey home. He was cold and tired, and climbing up the hill was hard work. The thought of a nice steaming cup of cocoa kept him going. Oink. George looked up. That's that noise again. He decided to follow it. A cold lost pig. What was he doing out there all by himself, and how could George rescue the poor pig? George remembered how Vicky and Vinny had rescued him. What George needed was a sled. It had to be a flat and big enough for the pig to sit on. A fallen sign nearby looked like a good choice. What a ride. When George got home, he found the neighbor, Farmer Jenkins, talking to the man with the yellow hat. Thanks for bringing my pig home, George, the farmer said. He got out last night before it snowed. Good work, George, said the man with the yellow hat. There's some cocoa waiting for you inside. That was exactly what George had hoped for. Skiing, snowshoeing, sledding, and now cocoa. It had been the perfect snowy day. The end.